been in Stromness for a week now, so we always come here every new year, most years, because Orkney um, is just wonderful at this time of year. There's lots going on, and also there's not a lot going on, so there's not very many people here. After New Year, it gets really, really quiet, but we have some, usually have some quite dramatic weather. Um, and that's been quite consistent for the past few years. So last week was fairly um, calm, actually. It was really quite nice, and we were just taking a bit of a rest. Um, but this week, um, we had a, a little bit of a storm come through yesterday, so the waves are looking pretty good um, for the week ahead. And I woke up this morning and decided to um, take a trip up to the coast to see what the waves are doing. The forecast is pretty good and the tide's about right just now. So I'm going to head up there just now and uh, see what's happening. There was going to be a fair bit of wind, um, so there's probably going to be a lot of filming in the car. Um, so we'll see what we what we find up on on the north coast of Hawkby. I've had to come back to the car to speak to the camera because I don't know what other people do um, filming in really, really stormy weather like this, but I can't seem to be able to film outdoors without the camera falling over or you not being able to hear me. So you can probably hear the wind actually. The, the car is shaking with the wind, so <laughs> you can probably hear it a little bit. So I was down there and the waves are amazing, but I just missed some incredible light, which is a bit of a shame. I just got here as the light was going. Um, but the waves are um, pretty strange actually, they're coming in all directions and the wind is sort of chopping them up, so it's like carnage out there basically. Um, but because I missed that light, I'm struggling a little bit with um, just shooting ordinary um, fast shutter speed images. So what I'm going to do is go back down there. Um, I'm going to try from a bit of a different angle first of all. Usually I try and be on the same level as the waves, so that makes the waves um, look larger, they look like they're coming towards you, which, which they are, and the spray is usually quite big, but sometimes it is better from slightly above, so I'll try from the top of the, um, well the cliff really, I was down on the bottom of the stairs early on, the same same level as the water, um, it's a little bit um, risky down there, so I'm going to stay at the top of the cliff, so it's a little bit more windy up there, um, and then see what that's like, and then what I'm going to do is also try putting a filter on and just to um, create, I don't know, to see what happens and uh, just maybe create some more artistic looking images. Um, so I'll just put a six stop filter on. Um, I won't put tripod up because there's very little point in this wind. I'm not really sure what the wind is, it's probably about 40 or 50 miles an hour and we are literally on the edge of Orkney so um, it's, it's quite severe out there. I'm back in the car just for a little break to warm up. My hands are freezing. And um, I just went back out and I was experimenting with using a um, filter. So I'm actually, I'll just show you what I'm using. I'm using my Fuji X-T3 with a, um, a coking filter. So it's a um, 64 filter, so it's a six stop filter. And that's just slowing everything down. Um, it's pretty hit and miss because the uh, the, the camera doesn't really know what to focus on. Um, there's a lot of wind, so there's a lot of wind moving the camera while I'm shooting. So it's very variable, shall we say. Um, I'm not sure how high the hit rate would be on, on this shoot, but I'm just keeping going. And um, the wind is really quite hard to work with, but um, I'm actually really enjoying it. And, and I think I'm getting a couple of really nice images that are very 
um, artistic, I would say, and um, a really nice uh, expression of how the sea feels today and how it feels to be out. Um, so I'm actually starting to have a really nice time, even though the light's not very good. Um, I'm just having a great time and um, I really think that that's, that's, that's so valuable, isn't it? Um, I've learned a lot um, from being open to other ways of shooting and listening to other people. Um, my friend um, and assistant Leslie Luntot shoots a lot like this without a tripod and just shooting um, quite freely um, and just kind of like it, uh, letting the waves do their thing and letting the camera do its thing. So it's fairly new to me actually, but I think there's real great, there's great value in just being open um, to try new things, seeing if you enjoy them and um, seeing what the results are like. So that's what I'm doing today. It was really out of a, a lack of choice because a tripod wasn't an option, but I'm enjoying the, the freedom and also the way that the, the waves are being captured as a result. So I'm actually really happy with it. So um, yeah, so I, maybe you should try that as well. Maybe just go, go free and go into the wind and, and don't worry about your tripod. Um, yeah, great. I'm going to go back out there and take some more anyway. So um, we'll, see, we'll see how we get on then.